Welcome to the PSAV Inspiration Cafe. I'm speaking with Deidre Ross, Director of Department of Meetings and Administration, the American Osteopathic Association. Welcome, Deidre. Thank you very Good much. Good to meet you. Nice to meet and you. And thank too. you for coming to the Inspiration Cafe. Well, thank you for this having is, me. This is a, a, a cafe where we uh, ask professionals like you uh, for advice, tips, best practices, a chance for our viewers to understand better the business and understand better specialties within the business. And I know you represent a very a big, uh, important medical association. Thank you. Uh, you have a lot of experience working with large meetings and celebrity speakers. Working with big names, does that bring special issues, opportunities, problems for a planner? Uh, yes, it, it does in a way because uh, they're, what they have with big speakers are riders that come with their speaking contracts. So that would be certain things that you have to give them in their dressing room or extra things that they need, that kind of thing. So, so that's a little bit different than just a regular speaker that says, I want to go first class and uh, I need a, a suite for the night. There is more. We had one speaker who wanted to bring her own makeup artist and her own um, hairdresser. So we would have to fly in two extra people plus our manager to do that. And do you, and do you feel, because you've worked with big speakers, and not big speakers, uh -huh. the, the return on investment for a big name speaker, is it, is, it, is it worth the effort that you talk about having to go through? For the group that I did it for mostly, it was. Okay. Because they were famous people who had written books. And people wanted to hear about their books. And they were bestsellers things like that. You know, someone like John Grisham right. or uh, Julie Andrews who does children's books. People like that who are, um, our, our members were very interested in finding out, you know, what they did, sure. how they did it. And that, so, that drives it, attendance as well. And it does. It's have you so. noticed, you you've, you've have experience in the business, have you noticed changes in the audience and meeting audiences in terms of their expectations or the experiences they're looking for or how you, how you deliver a meeting that, that engages an audience? Has it changed? Oh, it's changed a lot. I think that uh, in the old days, you know, they were happy to just see a panel or just see a speaker. Now they don't want just that. They want to be interactive. They want to have a part of it. They want to have input. They want information like this, fast, to the point, things that are going to help with their job, or they're just not going to come to your meeting because mm. they have other priorities that might be their family or you know they don't want to travel they want to take the time because they can find it out on the internet so as the um, younger younger people come up they've been living like this all their lives the meeting planners have got to meet that need or they're just not going to come they'll just look up on the internet and get what they want and I know you're managing several different generations of attendees so yes. some people are more uh, comfortable and conversant with technology some are less so and that's a, uh, that's especially true at our medical meetings that I have found that the uh, younger people are very good at uh, social networking at uh, using computers pads things like that the older members not so much so let me ask because we need your advice on this if, if with this multi-generational audience if you go too high with technology you pick up the young attendees but you lose the older ones if you go too too low you make the older members happy, but you lose. How do you how do you mix and match? It's it's a hard it's a hard balance. So we're starting um, easy on on this medical group right. because their audience, our audience, was typically a little bit older. You know, like baby boomers and maybe older than that. And now, the osteopathic profession, which is the largest, fastest growing medical profession, you know, is getting five thousand new doctors per year. Mm. So those people are now becoming DOs and they're going to be coming to our meetings and if we don't reach them then we're not going to have a successful meeting it'll just die out and that's an audience so, that's grown up on technology right so they're growing up in technology so we are putting in technology geared toward them and if the if the older audience wants it but we're not leaving them out we're not like just putting everything on an app and not having a book right. because some people want the book and some people want they don't want paper at all so that we're trying to you know bridge everything yeah. uh, with all of the focus being on technology what about content that Con still matters doesn't it content matters a lot and um, we have the way our meeting works that our specialty colleges provide the content 
So a lot of the docs who come, if they are like a um, dermatologist, they'll, that's the only sessions they'll go to, but they might go to some of our big sessions right. that we uh, sponsor, you know, the um, CME sessions from the drug companies. I can imagine yeah. managing all that content, particularly when it's so very important from subject matter experts is, is crucial. Yes, it's uh, it's key, And but we have a program chair from every specialty college ah. so that we work with and then we can help if Over, they need help. Overall, do you see uh, a greater understanding of, of meetings as a part of the marketing toolkit? People now see it not as just a one-off event, but in fact part of an overall marketing? Oh, I think they see that quite a lot. Right. It's, it's a key, and it's, a, it's also a key event for the whole association. This is, we call it OMAD, that's our, con our uh, convention. And this is OMED. This is where you will come and you will get the CMEs and you will meet your friends and you will see the people that you graduated uh, medical school with. And you get together and you exchange ideas and, it, and it's, uh, it's wonderful. Just you know, what you exist for. Yeah, and yeah. the high energy, I was surprised about that. Terrific. It was great. Terrific. Yeah.